Hey you guys, happy Tuesday. I'm excited to have you guys here. I'm gonna prime my face while I wait for everybody to hop on. I'm gonna use my purple tube primer. I'm gonna do a Starbucks giveaway. So if you're super pumped up, all you gotta do to enter to win, I'm shedding, so hold on one second. All you have to do is just share this video and then make sure it's public so that I can go back and see that you've shared. Hi, Cody, happy Tuesday. Make sure that it's public. That way I can see that you shared and um, come back here and comment shared so that I know to go look. And then just like this video or love it or whatever little emoji you want to use. Hey, Jacob. Hey Cody, but it is a $15 Starbucks gift card. I am like in a super good mood today and I thought to myself this morning, I thought I wanna do a giveaway of something that I feel like more people would be so excited to have. Starbucks is finally, I think, getting back to normal and they're doing the mobile order thing again, which I am super pumped up about. Hi Amy, happy Tuesday. So if you want to be entered to win, just share it. I link, or I put the, um, giveaway rules in the description, super easy. Just just make sure that it's public when you share because if I can't see that you share, then I can't enter you in to win the gift card. But if you're not catching me live and you're catching me on the replay, that's okay. You can just put hashtag replay. I'm still thankful for those of you that can catch me later today um, and you can still be entered to win. So don't worry about that. Hi, Amy. Um, I'll be doing it until Friday. Um, I work the next two days and so I figure I'll just give people plenty of time to share it, watch the replay and share. And then we'll be drawing names. Hi, Tiara, happy Tuesday. Okay, so I primed my face with a purple VFX, purple tube primer. Um, this one's more hydrating. The gray tube that I also love very, very much is a silicone base. So this is water-based, this is silicone base. Um, this one's more mattifying. This one's more hydrating, although unlike a lot of hydrating primers that I've tried and used and hated because they made my face too dewy, it does not do that. It is hydrating, but it doesn't give your face like an oily, nasty look. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Alicia. If you guys are hopping on and you are obsessed with Starbucks like me, you can share this video to be entered into win the $15 gift card. I wanted to share the love, spread the coffee love with you guys today. I got my coffee. It's not Starbucks. I made it, but um, just because I didn't feel like going to town. So I thought about going to town to get Starbucks today, and I didn't do it. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Peyton. Happy Tuesday, you guys. If you're hopping on, say hey. Let me know you're here. We're going to do makeup, and we're going to do a freaking awesome, hopefully, <laughs> really bold green eyeshadow look. So let me show you. We have some green pigment uh where is it at what's it even called forest green we're gonna use this i've got amazon green i got duncan today i do like duncan coffee their coffee is really good the donuts i'm a crispy cream girl <laughs> but i do like duncan coffee hi sierra happy tuesday you guys if you're hopping on and you love starbucks you can enter to win my giveaway it's super easy um, all I ask is a share and make sure it's public so I can see you shared. Hi, Courtney. Happy Tuesday, you guys. I'm so glad everybody's here. Say hey when you're hopping on because um, I may not be able to see your name pop up. So let me know. I totally agree. Yeah, I know. It's like Dunkin' Donuts are like real cakey. And I like the like yeast donuts, like Krispy Kreme. My husband likes Dunkin'. Well, he's not really picky anyway. But I'm like, you're a traitor. Krispy Kreme is like the greatest. Okay, we're going to be using my VFX foundation today, but I'm going to start off if I can find it. Where is it at? My soft orange concealer to go under my eyes, to brighten under my eyes. I already primed my face for those of you hopping on if you missed it. If you guys miss any of this and you just want to go back and watch the replay too, you can. Um, and don't, don't worry if you can't Catch the live if you're watching this on the replay. You can still be entered to win the Starbucks gift card. I made a post earlier today to just wondering like how many of my friends liked iced coffee. And turns out I have a lot of Facebook friends that love coffee in general. So I thought, well, you know, instead of a makeup giveaway, let's give away some coffee. Some money for coffee because... I love some Starbucks. I mean, I'm not too picky about my coffee anyway, but I don't know. I kind of grew up on Starbucks, so it's like 
my jam. It's what I'm used to. And I always try to go the steep, cheapest way with my Starbucks drinks. <laughs> I usually just get like some shots and mix it with like some protein or something. I was wetting my beauty blender, by the way. I'm putting this orange concealer under my eyes and on my cheekbones where for some reason I have some dark spots. So it's just going to help brighten it up for me. So I put this under my foundation just, do you see how much that brightened my under eye right there? I should have left one not done so you guys could tell. If you guys are hopping on, say hey. If you're new here, or maybe we're not Facebook friends and you're seeing this because it got shared, um, you can feel free to add me as a friend if you want to catch more of my lives and not miss them. Just shoot me a friend request or you can follow my business page looks by Lauren. There's a link to it in my bio if you'd rather do that. Hi, Mackenzie. Thank you for sharing. I'm so excited. I love Starbucks. I can't help it. Although I was kind of frustrated at them during this whole pandemic because I could not ever get it because of their limited hours and no mobile order thing. That makes it hard for me because I'm always in a rush with work, but... I do miss them, I have to say. Something about their coffee. I love taking shots of their shots of espresso and mixing with my like favorite protein drinks. That's like the best and the cheapest. If you guys want some cheap Starbucks drink ideas, that is my go-to thing that I do all the time. Or I used to. Hi Alicia, thank you for sharing. I'm just using our cream. Concealer, I'm running low on the liquid and I've been lazy about ordering some, so I finally just went and and I ordered it. So I'm using the cream for now to make up for it so I'm not like totally out because I like to use the liquid to help me with my eyeshadow. You guys will see that in a minute. Hi, Madeline. Happy Tuesday. And honestly, I've been putting concealer on my nose and it's really helped me keep like the redness down and everything. I don't know why my nose is like the reddest part on my face always, but I'm super proud of my skin. It's come a long way in the last month. You guys might not be able to really tell in here because you don't see me every day, but I have had less and less and less breakouts every week. So this is all just really deep scarring for me. I know you can't tell. It looks like blemishes, but this is all just really deep scarring. Um, on my skin and so I'm really excited because it's looking so so much better the dark spots seem to be getting better I'm just like really pumped up about this skincare hi Ariel happy Tuesday make sure if you guys are sharing that you comment that so I know to go look on your page and also making sure that your share is public because then that will show me that you shared it if I can't see that then I don't know to enter you in the giveaway. And you don't want to miss out on free Starbucks, right? I don't. I love me some free Starbucks. That's how I go and I do all the points and I get all my free drinks because it's not cheap, right? So we do what we can. Hi, Andrea. Thanks for saying hey. Okay, I think I'm going to stick with my Kabuki brush today. You can use a beauty blender. Those are great. They work really, really good. I'm going to use our VFX. I can't decide between our foundations because they are also great. I think, I think I'm going to say that the Stay Matte. Hi, Christina. Thank you for sharing. Um, I think I'm going to say the Stay Matte is my favorite only because it's so affordable. So, um, yeah. I love all of them, but if you're like worried about price, which all of these foundations are drugstore price, but this one's just the most affordable. And so if you're like super, super like, you know, worried about spending and wanting to save the most, then I would, I would choose that one. Does pharmacy have any products to lighten dark spots from acne scarring? I have scarring. Okay. So I'm trying to learn a lot about skincare, Alicia, because I've been lacking in that area for my entire life, um, up until the recent past. But our rose water line, I haven't tried it. It's supposed to be really, really good. Like the rose toner and all that is supposed to be really awesome for basically like evening out your skin tone, helping with dark spots. Age Reversist is supposed to do that as well. I've been using the Age Reversist and I feel like it has significantly been helping. So I use two products from that line um, two times a day and my skin just looks a million times better. So it's going to take me some time because I'm still new with using the skincare, but 
Um, so I can't tell if it's like the tea tree. I use tea tree and age reversist. I can't tell if it's that, if it's the age reversist, if it's like my perfect combination together helping my skin. Um, I'll let you know more as I use it more, but something has been helping with my dark spots and I'm gonna bet that it was the age reversed because it is, what is it? Um, is it brown algae and red seaweed or brown seaweed and red algae? Something like that. I get the colors mixed up. See, I haven't studied up on these enough yet and I need to learn more about them, but they have concentrated algae and seaweed in those lines, which helps with the collagen in your skin um, and really tones your skin. And the rose water is supposed to be fantastic um, for toning your skin as well and helping with like uneven skin tone. So I have not tried the rose water. I've just tried the age reversist. And I've also been using the aloe scrub, which is supposed to really, really help. Obviously any face scrub is supposed to really, really help your skin. Um, so I don't know. I can't, I can't tell you definitively which product has helped the most because I use a combination of them and they are all seem to really, really help my skin in the last few weeks. Hi Vicki, hi Brianna. Thank you guys for being here. If you're hopping on, say hey, because I may not see your name pop up. So if I'm not saying hi to you, it's because for some reason Facebook is ridiculous and it won't let me see your name. So I don't know why Facebook does that to me, but make sure you say hey when you get on here. Feel free to share this if you want to be entered into my Starbucks gift card giveaway because I'm so pumped up. I'm so pumped up to share some free coffee with somebody. <laughs> I am a coffee girl all the way. Iced coffee. I posted about that earlier. Who are my iced coffee people? And who are my hot coffee people? Because I am not a hot coffee person. I don't do hot drinks. Occasionally I'll do some hot chocolate. But I would much rather have a cold drink. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm like that. But that is how I am. <laughs> I can't help it. I don't know what it is about the ice drinks, but they are awesome. I should probably be showing you guys how little of this product that I'm using because it blows my mind. This stuff stays on all day. I had somebody message me the other day and ask me, they were like, this coverage looks great, but does it actually stay on your face all day? And I need to do like another video tonight to show you guys what this looks like later because this stuff stays on. I'll be outside like yesterday I was outside for hours in the hot sun and we were cleaning up um just cleaning up outside like our mulch and the back deck and he was mowing and then we even sat outside and ate dinner and I was just out there for hours and this stuff did not budge. I wore let's see yesterday I wore the CC cream which is amazing because it's got like SPF of 25 in it. So if you're needing something this summer to help your skin protect it from the sun, the CC cream is awesome. BB cream is lighter coverage. I like full coverage, so I prefer CC cream. Plus it's got all that extra SPF, which is amazing. Definitely need to worry about protecting our skin when the sun is shining bright like that outside. So, I'm gonna take my pressed powder. This is just gonna set my face. I try to, hi Courtney, happy Tuesday. I try to stay away from my under eye until after I do my eyeshadow because it's just gonna make it easier because I always clean up with my concealer after I do my eyeshadow. So I'm just kind of focusing on my cheeks. But this is our pressed powder. It is not transparent. We do have a transparent setting powder that is fantastic, but I'm just saying if you want to save a couple extra bucks and you want to set your face, you can use this stuff because it's great. It smells great. Plus it gives extra coverage. So if that's something that you're really interested in, making sure that you have super full coverage like me because I hate my skin, <laughs> then this stuff is awesome. I love it. And this smells freaking awesome too. Whatever they put in it to make it smell good. It smells like something like, I don't know. Like, I love dessert. It smells like something baking. I don't know. It smells sweet to me. Okay, so next, I'm going to use my contour stick. Just a little bit of it probably. And then we'll mostly use bronzer because I just want to show you guys how amazing 
um, contour can be with a cream because a lot of people are afraid of cream contour and you really don't need to be. And I probably brought that down a little too far, but that's okay. Did I miss what you said about the Starbucks gift card? No, Courtney, all the um, instructions are in the description. It's super easy. You just have to share. Make sure when you share my this video um, that it's public. Otherwise, I won't be able to see that you shared and I can't enter you in the giveaway. Um, and then you just come back here and you comment shared so that I know to go look for it. Um, and then you can like this video or love it or whatever emoji you want to give me <laughs> for this video. And that is all it is. And then I'll be announcing the winner on probably Friday. I might decide more that by the end of the day when I want to announce it, but I work the next two days. So I'm going to guess probably Friday is when I will pick. So you guys can share it on the replay. Like if you're watching this on the replay right now, you don't have to share it when I'm live. You can share it up until like Friday when I announce I learned taking a quick break from work. I love and prefer cold drinks too with tons of ice. Me too, Vicky. Well, not tons of ice. When I go to Starbucks, I get, whatever I get, I get light ice because it always gets watered down. And when they put like, they'll have a cup, like this is a venti basically. They'll put ice like to here and then you barely get any coffee. So I always do light ice. And then if I want to put it in a bigger cup and add more ice later, then I will. But they jip you and they, they're already so expensive. So... I just always make sure I get as much coffee from them as I possibly can for what I'm paying for it, right? Hi, Kylie. Thank you, Crystal, for sharing. I had a feeling when I posted that coffee post today and so many people were commenting that they liked hot or cold coffee. I was like, man, I have a lot of coffee lovers on here. So thank you, Kylie. Thank you, Courtney. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give away something that we all apparently love and have in common, which is coffee. And to me, what's the best coffee? Starbucks, I can't help it. Some people are like, oh my God, Starbucks is too overpriced. And maybe they are, but I don't know. I'm addicted to it, so. You really can't change my mind. <laughs> Plus when they do that mobile order stuff and on my way to work, cause I don't get up early enough to go and order, I just put it in the app and then as I come back, like come by to go to work, I just pick it up and it's so easy. And I spend so much money because of that. It's a problem. Okay, so I'm contouring under my chin. I'm going to contour my nose just a little bit. If you have a wide nose and want to make it look thinner, this is a great tip for you. Um, I just try to use it to make my nose look as straight as I can. And then the end of my nose is a little wider than the rest of it. So I try to make it look like seamlessly straight and then all the way down. So I just put, you see how I put those two lines, basically not on the very top of your nose, but you don't wanna put them down too far on the side because then you're gonna make it look wider instead of thinner. So just practice that and you will figure out easily where it needs to go because you don't wanna make your nose look wider. That's not the purpose of this, right? You wanna make it look skinnier. When did you say the drawing was? Um, on Friday, I think. I don't know what time though. Um, whenever I go live, which, let me think. A lot of times, I don't know, I may go live Friday morning. I'll probably announce that sometime Thursday. Um, because I don't, I don't ever have a set time for my lives usually. I have like a roundabout time, but I think Tira might be coming over to do more makeup again. So I don't know when it'll be, but it'll be Friday. That was the longest way to answer your question. I'm sorry. Sometime Friday. Hopefully I'll post about it. Okay. So I'm contouring my forehead a little bit. This is great for you. Hi, Gabby. This is great for you. If you have a really big forehead, you're trying to make look smaller. This is a good way to do it. I just like to kind of give myself some color and I didn't do too much contour today. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna set it with bronzer, which is really great. Or you can use like a sculpting palette. Like we have a powder sculpting palette to set my face, but I think I'll just use bronzer today. Okay, so 
This is our Sunkiss bronzer. Super beautiful. And I'm always telling you guys, I'm obsessed with it because it's matte. So a lot of companies have like a bronzer that's like shimmery. And for me, especially where my blemishes are at, if it's a shimmery bronzer, it just emphasizes the blemishes even more. So you want something that's more matte and not shimmery and sparkly. Hi, Gabby. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. So this just helps set where I put that cream contour. Anytime you use that, you want to make sure it's set on your face, especially if you have oily skin. Um, you want to make sure you set your face with a powder. That's super important. Hi, Kelsey. Happy Tuesday. I don't know what's going on with my light. It wants to make me look orange today. There we go. I need a new, I need a new ring light, but they're so stinking expensive. I'm like, I don't know that I have like a small one. I would, I like, I wish you guys could see it. I have a small one and I need like a bigger normal sized one because I don't have enough lighting in this room. It does a terrible job of lighting me up in here. And I also have like a gazillion notifications going off right now. Okay, so I'm really excited because I kind of have a plan for this eyeshadow, but I kind of don't. I want to use, so I'm going to use this beautiful, beautiful, um, forest green pigment that we have, but I'm also going to be using our stunning, this is so beautiful, Amazon green eyeshadow that we have. I've used it before. If you guys saw my green eyeshadow pictures, you can find it in the photos on my profile, or if you're friends with me on Instagram, I'm sure you can see it on there too, but I don't know what it's specifically we're going to do yet. I just know we're going to be using some greens and we're going to be making this hopefully really bold today. So this is not going to be short like yesterday. So I get it. if you have places to be things to do, you can just come back and watch this on the replay later and just comment hashtag replay. You don't have to stick around <laughs> the entire time for these because I know not everybody has all the time in their day just to sit here and watch me. <sighs> Hi, Isha. Thank you for watching. Did I say that right? Isha, Isha, I hope I'm saying that right. I have such a hard time pronouncing names. Kelsey, love the green look. Shared, thank you, Kelsey. Yes, I loved my green look too. So I can't decide what's my favorite. I'm obsessed with our bronze pigments and they're so beautiful, but the green eyeshadow look that I did, I don't know. I can't decide what my favorite is. Amazon green, this seriously, if you've never tried green eyeshadow before, you need to try this. Look how beautiful that is. If you haven't seen it, go back and look for that photo on my profile. Just click on like my photos tab. I'm sure it's in there somewhere where you can see it and it's gorgeous. I used the Amazon green with that look and it was the prettiest. It's like Aisha, Aisha, Aisha. Did I say that right that time? I hope so. I'm so sorry. I try to pronounce people's names right. I feel like I do this every live. People pop on and I'm like, did I say that right? Because I don't know if I did. Aisha. Is that how you say it? I hope so. I hope I got it a second time around. Okay, so we are using lip liner. Yes, I said lip liner for my eyebrows. So I've had several people ask me why in the heck Lauren, do you use lip liner on your eyebrows? And it is because I love the consistency and the formula of these lip liners better than our brow liners. If you're just gonna, yay, Aisha. Okay, I said it right. All right, I feel better about saying your name now. <laughs> um, we have brow, what, a, what am I trying to call these? Brow liners. Um, they look like this. Here's a lip liner. So see how this is like waxy? Um, well, I don't know if you can tell that just, but I can just by the way it looks. So this is more waxy consistency. This is like a true pencil. It's basically like a colored pencil for your face. And um, it's just like, it's easier to sharpen. It gets thinner. This is harder to sharpen. It's harder to make like a thin point. Um, so therefore it's harder to draw a thinner line. If you're just gonna use pencil and you're not gonna fill in your brows with anything else, it's really easy to use these. And these will do a really good job, but I like precise thin line so I can like basically outline my brow and then go back in and fill with the pomade. So to me and just what I'm used to using, I would much rather use this. 
than the brow pencil. So that's just my personal preference. We do have brow powders. I've never used them, but I'm not a brow powder kind of person. So I can't really comment on them except I know one of my uplines does her brows with the powder and she looks freaking stunning. So if you want to see the brow powders and how they look on people, just message me and I will send you a photo of her because I'm sure she wouldn't care. But she makes her brows look freaking awesome with the powder. So if you're like skeptical about brow powder and you want to know how it looks, just shoot me a message. But this is our pomade in the shade brown. We have a lighter shade and we have a darker, a darker shade. So good for everybody. And it is wonderful. It is a cream product. If you don't know what a brow pomade is, raise your hand. Because now you do. It is a cream brow product and it's fantastic. This is how I keep my brows from moving all day. Okay, number one, I don't even, I like, I don't wipe them or anything insane. So I'm not touching on them and it's got a cream product on there. So really I don't need any gel or wax or any product to try to keep them from moving because they're already not going to move. So that is why I love pomades. Plus I love super defined brows and this will do that for me. If you guys are hopping on, say hey, because I can't see names pop up, so I don't want to miss anybody. Tell me you're here. Say happy Tuesday. If you love Starbucks like I do, or if you know somebody who loves Starbucks and you want to win it for them, you can share this video because I know that they would appreciate you giving them a Starbucks gift card because I would. <laughs> Hi, Kirsten. Happy Tuesday. Thank you guys for being here. Say hey when you hop on. Let me know if you have questions. If you share it, make sure your share is public so I can see and then come back here and comment, share it so that I can look for it. And we are about to do some green eyeshadow. Who is pumped up? Never in my life had I done green eyeshadow and then I got this pharmacy Amazon green and my life has forever changed because green is a beautiful eyeshadow color. I never would have thought I would say something like that, but it is beautiful. Green is stunning. So what we're going to do, hi Emma, happy Tuesday. We are going to prime my eyes with our eyeshadow primer. This is like a potted primer and I have a cream brush. So I'm just going to apply it using this. Which hospital do you work at? I work at CRH, Courtney. Are you from Columbus? That is where I work. Okay, so I'm just pressing this into my eyes and then we're going to go back and we are going to set it because it's super, super important, you guys. When you prime your eyes, you need to set with a powder because it's you're going to find it's really, really hard to blend powder eyeshadows on top of a cream. Don't do that because it's going to get patchy and you're not going to like how it looks. It's not going to look right. So you have to make sure that you're setting it with a powder. I will show you, we have a sculpting palette. You can use something like this. Oh gosh, don't get me in that reflection. That looked terrible. You can use this, uh, something like this, something like a transparent powder. You can use um, like the pressed powder I used earlier. It doesn't matter, anything is great. <sighs> Courtney, yes, I went to high school with your husband, I believe, and I have family members that work at CRH. Which floor? Oh, that's cool, Courtney. Um, yeah, so obviously I did not go to your guys' high school. I'm not from around here, um, but he knows so many stinking people. All he knows how to do is <laughs> chat and be social, and I am so opposite of that. Um, yeah, so I work on Two Tower on the cardiac floor, and it's amazing, and I love my floor. Where do your family members work at? Are they nurses, or what do they do? Also, you guys, let me know if I talk too fast because I tend to talk way too fast for people. And sometimes people need to just tell me to slow down. So let me know if I need to just take a breather and not talk so dang fast. Okay, I'm gonna take the bronzer that I used on my face and my fluffy eyeshadow brush and we're just gonna blend this into our crease. 
And I think today I may even take my transparent setting powder and put it under my eye to help my eyeshadow again because that's gonna kinda help with the cleanup afterwards. So let me throw this in here and then we will Okay, we're gonna put the transparent finishing powder under my eyes to help. It's a good habit to get into, especially depending on what eyeshadow look you're trying to do, but I have crazy blending mesh, mesh, mess typically, and it's a lot easier for me to just start off by doing that. So it's gonna catch most of what I'm blending out so it doesn't go all over the place. It's gonna be a lot easier cleanup for me by the end of my eyeshadow look. We will clean up with concealer at the end though, but this just makes it easier. I know this medical coder and works from home. Oh, that's cool. I wish I could work from home. I have an aunt that is a nurse in the birthing center. Oh my gosh, and a cousin that has graduated and started in the ER as a nurse and another cousin that just graduated that is starting regional. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Um, yes, so you know a lot of people at CRH. Um, I John has an aunt cousin cousin um technically that works in the birthing center and she's the bomb.com. Her name's Violet, she's so awesome. She has taught me a lot um about nursing and helped me when I started first started school with giving me advice and stuff, which I super duper appreciated. Um, and in the ER, I could never do ER. <laughs> that is not for me at all. Like I commend people that can work there because I cannot. Um, radiology tech, that's awesome. That is pretty cool. I like, I wish I knew how to like read images and understand all that stuff, but I do not. How did you and John meet? We met at college. Um, we both went to Franklin College for a little while. So that is where we met. We have been inseparable ever since then. Hi, Sierra. Happy Tuesday. Are you still in school? No, I am not in a school. Thank gosh. Oh my gosh. I am so over school. No, I graduated last year. I am done. People keep asking me if I'm going to go back and be an NP and I say don't ask me that question because I don't even want to think about school right now. I was so over it and ready to be done and I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful to be done. I'm over homework, over it. I've done enough homework in my lifetime. <laughs> I'm ready to focus on other fun things. I have no life, no like awesome hobbies like other people because I spent so much time studying to be an RN. <laughs> I'm like over it, over the homework, over the studying. So this eyeshadow that I am using in my crease to kind of start and give me a transition color is called Warm Taupe. It is one of our mono eyeshadows. It is freaking gorgeous. This is seriously an eyeshadow I would throw on in like two minutes um, if I was just like going to work or just having like an easy day and I didn't really want to wear makeup, but I wanted something on my eyes, you could easily do something like this. Or we have a beautiful, I may even use it today, I got it out just in case. We have a beautiful coffee brown, it's a shimmery brown, which is gorgeous that you could use if you wanted some shimmer instead of just like a matte. I'm slowly getting more of our eyeshadows so that I can test them out. But today we are gonna use green. Do you live in Columbus? Yes, we do live in Columbus. Thank goodness, my drive is not long to work, thankfully. If you guys are hopping on, say hey, share the video if you love Starbucks and you want a gift card. Everybody will take free Starbucks, right? Even if you don't love Starbucks, I bet you have a friend, a family member, somebody you love that loves Starbucks and you can win it for them, okay. I'm going to take, let's see, I just want to plan out which eyeshadows I'm going to do where because I think I'm going to end up blending some Amazon green into my crease, but I want to start putting some deeper browns in there first. So we are going to go in with this brown right here and I'm going to take a fluffy brush that I have and pack that in my crease and I'm just taking it on the very end of my brush 
okay and I'm not using a lot I just have a little bit of pigment and I'm going in with a super super light hand to blend this out okay hold on I gotta scoot closer to my mirror so can you guys see where I'm putting this I'm just putting it slightly above my crease because I don't want to close off my eyes and make them look super small because I already don't have the biggest lid space. I wish my sister was here and we could sit next to each other and compare because she's got really beautiful big eyelids and it's like perfect for eyeshadow. So awesome here in our end. What's interesting thing you learned that stuck with you. Oh my god. I'm so glad you're done with homework. Me too. Amy, I don't even know where to begin. What's an interesting thing that I've learned? Oh my gosh, I've learned so many interesting things. Honestly, I started out in ICU, which I don't know if any of my ICU buddies are watching right now, but they were the bomb.com and they taught me everything I could ever want to know. Well, maybe not everything ever because things are always changing, but they taught me so stinking much about nursing. Seriously, <laughs> I have felt like when I was done with school, I was like, I didn't even learn anything because I started with them in the ICU and I was like, Nursing is like a totally different when you're actually here, especially somewhere like that in the ICU learning things. I will tell you the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life, probably will ever see, I doubt anything will ever beat it, is an open heart surgery. The coolest thing, hands down, I'll probably ever see. I got to stand at the head of the bed and watch them work on this heart and it was seriously like I almost get teary-eyed thinking about it because it's seriously so cool it's it's life-changing watching something like that it's very impressive to see something that way like oh I don't know I have like seriously the biggest interest in learning about medicine and how the body works and what these doctors do to help people or like these procedures I'm honestly surprised I'm not like an OR nurse <laughs> But I just, I don't know if I could handle that. That's like really cutthroat. I don't know if that would be, if I would be cut out for that. But that is seriously has to be the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. I have seen a baby being born, Amy, and you probably don't want me to talk about it because it was very traumatizing. I don't have any kids. I would never want to see that again. <laughs> Whenever we have kids, if they try to offer me a mirror to watch it, I'm going to say, get that thing out of my face <laughs> because I don't ever want to see that again. That is not my area of expertise that's why I'm on a cardiac floor and not in OB <laughs> 110% that's exactly I don't know I think that traumatized me to the point where I just knew no that's okay Amy I appreciate it now my nose is running I don't know why hold on my throat is getting so dry from talking so much but I love all these questions you guys are awesome if you're hopping on say hey i'm sorry for my crappy lighting <laughs> share this video if you want to be entered into a starbucks giveaway i'll keep repeating that in case people don't read the descriptions because not gonna lie sometimes when i hop on lives i don't even pay attention to what the description says so this is a giveaway so you can win starbucks gift card if you want to um where did my color go that i was picking this one it was a really pretty deep brown and we're just gonna keep building up the color until we get more depth and we're gonna throw, start throwing some green on top because Amazon green eyeshadow is freaking gorgeous. Honestly, we could probably just deepen this up and not really add much green in the crease and just do it on the lid, but I don't know, I haven't decided yet. So we'll just keep going the direction we're going. I don't know why my nose is running all of a sudden. It's like stuffy. I think I got to talking too much too fast and I'm a really fast talker so tell me to slow down if I'm talking way too fast because that is pretty normal for me. I walk fast, I talk fast. I don't do anything at a slow pace. If I do it maybe because I don't have my coffee yet. Okay so I'm just going to keep using that dark brown and building up in the corner here. And then we may see how some green looks 
blended in on top. We're just gonna have to see, but I'm definitely gonna make this super deep, dark, bold look, okay? Because when I think green eyeshadow, I think bold eyeshadow look, right? And we can easily do something simple with the Amazon green and the green pigment, but I just have like this picture in my head of what I wanna do, so we're gonna go for it. Okay, I'm gonna take this dense, I have this dense Morphe brush, and we're gonna take, where'd it go? We're gonna take this dark brown shade and just pack it into my outer corner. And if my blending gets a little crazy out here, it's okay, because we're gonna go back in and fix it with some concealer at the end. Oh, you know what? I probably need to plug my phone in because it's probably gonna die. Hold on. I don't want it to die in the middle of my life. So let's just fix that now. Okay, and I'm packing this into the corner and I'm trying to keep it in like a V shape because I'm gonna want it to almost be like wings out to the corner. I always go with a V shape out in the corner of my eye. It just elongates them and kind of, especially if you have eyes that tend to like droop in more on the inner corner, you're gonna wanna do something like this and kind of bring it out to a V or do some upward wings to kind of make them look less droopy, if that makes sense. It's going to bring them up and it'll change the whole look of your eye. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more because I feel like maybe just a tad and we're gonna throw some Amazon green on. It's not gonna be darker than this just because these browns are a lot darker than the green, but that's okay because we're gonna transition it probably from the Amazon green to the lighter green pigment once I start putting color on my lid. So let's just take I don't even know what brush I want to use. Maybe let's just take this one mostly because it's like really clean. <laughs> and we're going to get some green on here and just pack it in and maybe start working it towards my inner lid. Hi, Trina. Happy Tuesday. Thank you for being here. If you love Starbucks, you can enter my giveaway. If you hate Starbucks, you can enter my giveaway. Heck, I don't care. Not that anybody that hates Starbucks would probably want to win the gift card, but if you've got somebody you love that loves Starbucks and you want to win it for them, you can share for them as well. Or you can tag them in this and they can share. It is up to you. I guess I should have said that at the beginning. You may not love Starbucks, but if you know somebody that does and you want to tag them in this post so they can share, you can do that. That won't bother me. But if you guys are hopping on, just tell me, hey, let me know what you're doing today. You guys are basically seeing what I'm doing today. Nothing super thrilling. Hi, Beth. Happy Tuesday. Thanks for hopping on. It is a gorgeous day. It, or I guess if you live in Indiana, it's a gorgeous day today. It is super sunny. I need to go out and sit outside in the sun. I don't know what we're going to do when John gets off work later. Hopefully something outside, maybe. <laughs> I hope. Because <laughs> it's so beautiful. I should have went and sat outside earlier today, and I didn't really. I sat out there a little bit, but not for very long. And it's just like the perfect time to be sitting outside. So I'm deepening this up, obviously, by adding the green adding the dark, deep, dark brown shades. Because we're gonna make this a really deep, defined look. Like I said, if you guys don't have time to watch this whole thing live, that's totally fine. You can hop on off here and come back and watch the replay. If you already are watching this on the replay, you can say hashtag replay. You can still enter to win 
I don't have to be live for you. Hi, it's so humid though, at least when I was out last. Okay, it is a little humid, but I don't know. I guess where our deck sits on the back of our house is not so bad because it's kind of in the shade for the most part. At least this time of day, it starts to be more in the shade and it's so pretty out. But yeah, it, I mean, it is more humid, I guess. But to me, it's better than winter time. So I really, I can't complain. So I'm taking more green on a flat brush so I can just bring some in more onto my lid, okay? Cause I'm gonna want to transition this from the light pigment on the inner corner to this darker green to brown when this is all said and done, okay? Let me just show you guys this this is like seriously gorgeous look how pretty that is and you don't even have to use this I mean honestly I'm just being real I don't know what else I would use this for but some people put these on their lips some people use them as highlighters like you could do a lot of cool things with these loose pigments I am not that bold or creative yet to do anything like that but you totally could if you wanted to you could totally do a bold look. So I'm adding more of like a chocolate brown shade in here just to kind of keep it looking more brown than black. Just because I really don't want, I don't think I really want a bunch of black on the outer corner of my lid. I think this brown looks much prettier. Um, Where'd it go? Here we are. So I'm just going to blend this into the green. And once we throw up our concealer on here, it'll look more seamless right now. It looks like a hot mess express because we're a blending mess and we have not added anything on the inner corner. But if you wanted to pack on even more pigment with this, you could get the brush wet and it helps pack on the green, but we're just gonna Leave it dry for now because we're gonna put some concealer here. So you guys have seen me do a cut crease look a million times. So it's all gonna be the same for the next few minutes. So if you wanna hop off and go do something real quick and come back, you can. I'm so thirsty because I can't stop talking. I'm just so excited to do this giveaway. I love Starbucks. I love coffee. The idea just came to me earlier today after I made that coffee post and I was like, I'm just going to give people free coffee because everybody loves some free freaking coffee. Oh, let's do this. Okay. See this dark green from this Morphe palette I have? We're going to add this in here because it's freaking gorgeous. So let me find a better brush to use. We're going to... Okay, we're gonna take this dense brush, we're gonna pack it on our crease just because I want some more green in here. We're gonna make this as green as we can without looking crazy. Green can be super bold and fun and pretty. It doesn't have to be like bright greens. These dark green colors are gorgeous on a lot of different eye colors. Especially if you have brown eyes like me, you're gonna have a lot of eyeshadow options. Okay. Just gonna pack on a little more and then we will move on to the concealer part and we can come back and blend this out more here in just a minute, but I'm not super worried about that right now. I'm just trying to get the crease the way I want it to before I start with the concealer because we are going to do a cut crease eyeshadow look. I thought about doing a halo eye and then I was like, oh wait, I already did a halo eye with the last green shadow look, so we're not going to do that this time, even though it looked freaking awesome. Seriously, if you guys haven't seen it, go to my Facebook profile and look at my photos and it's in there. And I used our Amazon green shadow and it was fantastic. I have a hard time deciding what is my favorite eyeshadow look after I did that. 
Okay, do you see how much deeper, darker, pretty that looks? And it's just adds to all the green gorgeousness. Okay, so now we can go in here and do a cut crease. If you guys don't know what a cut crease is, it's really not hard. It may seem hard, but thank you, Cody. Thanks for sharing. Um, what did I do with my concealer, you guys? I do not know. Hold up. Hold on. I'll find it. Oh, here it is. Okay. We're going to make this like a super bold look. And I'm probably not brave enough to do my magnetic lashes on a live in front of you guys right now. But after I hop off here, I may even put those on too. And then I will share a photo afterwards so you guys can see. Okay, so when you do a cut crease, it's really not as hard as you would think it is. Um, the hardest part is just trying to make sure that they match on both sides. So, hold on. Let me take another sip. All right, let's pray we can get these puppies to match. So I just take some of my little applicator and I just take my little concealer brush. It is curved. It is not flat or anything. So it really helps me with getting like the curved shape of my lid. So basically what I'm doing is you can clearly see where my crease is and my eye socket. So I follow that. Sometimes if you have hooded eyes, yours is going to be different. So if you feel like you have hooded eyes or trouble doing a look like this, you can message me and I will try to find some cool videos for you to watch um, and give you guys some tips if you want. Feel free to message me and ask me those questions. Um, it's hard for me to explain to you how to do it without you actually seeing it. That's why I recommend a lot going on YouTube and watching other people. And it's as simple as typing in like, um, cut crease look for hooded eyes and then you can see something similar to what I'm doing but for your eye shape and so it's really cool YouTube is a wonderful thing for makeup so basically I'm just trying to follow the natural shape of my lid but I want a smooth line here because we are going to pack on the pigment. So we want it to look super flawless and seamless, or I do, because I can be a bit of a perfectionist about things. I get a little frustrated if things don't look exactly the way I picture them, so I try, I try my best. So I'm gonna go up here all the way to the top of my crease. You see how that dark shadow is still peeking out above? So it gives the illusion that my crease is right there when it's actually just a little bit lower than that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take the concealer and Take it about that far over. That's what I usually do. Almost over half my lid. But what we're gonna wanna do is make sure, and actually let's just do it now to, just to try to help. We're gonna take a flat brush and we are gonna pack on, where's my handy dandy flat brush? We are gonna take that face sculpting palette, the same I used to set my lid to begin with. And we're gonna take this light shade and we are going to set the concealer because just like when you put concealer on any other place or time, you want to set it so it doesn't crease and does not move. Not to mention this is a cream, therefore we want the pigment to go smoothly on top of this. We don't want it to get stuck or get patchy because we're putting it on top of a cream. So we are gonna do the other eye and I'm going to try to match the shape and the height um, so you just got to kind of take it slow. That's the best advice I can give you. You got to learn to have, um, a steady hand. This takes practice because seriously guys, I can't tell you how many times in the past, not on a live video, I have tried, this was like a couple years ago. I used to try and do like a cut crease. <laughs> And I would get the concealer on and I'd be like, this is ridiculous. I can't do it. And I would quit. And you can't do that. You got to like practice, practice, practice. 
And you gotta have confidence in yourself too. And even, don't be like me, even if it doesn't turn out perfectly the first time, it's okay. You're doing great, just keep trying. You're not gonna be perfect at everything you do the very first time. And look at this, I just about messed that up. So I can show you how to go back in and fix it if I did, but I'll have to look and see. I think I almost got that too high. So you see how that almost looks a little bit higher than this one? We may have to go back in and put more dark on the crease to kind of cover that up a little bit. I will show you how to do that. But for now, the shape kind of matches. So it's it's doable. It's not perfect like I would want it to be, but it is about the same. So we're going to go with it. I'm going to take my flat brush and set this again. Hi, Emily. Happy Tuesday. If you love Starbucks, feel free to share this so you can enter to win a gift card. And... I'm just gonna set this. Okay. Hold on, I need to set it a little more over here. Now I'm gonna take, where is it at? I'm gonna take this little brush, okay, and I'm gonna take that dark, um, where is it at, that dark green. And you see how this is just a smidge up higher than the other side? Maybe you guys can't even tell in this video, but I can. I'm gonna take this green and just barely go over the top of this concealer right here. Okay, did you guys see how I did that? And then that brings it back down a little bit. So, okay, so we've set this so it won't crease and then the pigment will be go on so much easier than if it was going on a cream because that just makes our lives more challenging, right? So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take Where's it at? We're going to take some of this Amazon green. Okay, and my flat brush. Where'd it go? And we're going to blend this so that you can't see the concealer line. Um, we want to blend it in with the dark eyeshadow over here. And we may need to take some of that dark green and throw it on top too. To kind of help blend but you just wanna kinda of keep blending these until the lines of the concealer cannot be noticed, okay? That way it's a seamless uh, blend between the light pigment and the, and the dark eyeshadow out in the corner, okay? So let me get my dark green back out and we're just gonna take, hi Emily, happy Tuesday. If you love Starbucks, share this. Jessica, hey, happy Tuesday. Okay, we're gonna take some of this dark green that I was using just to kind of blend this here into the concealer a little bit. Hi, Joel. And then we'll throw some more Amazon green in here, but we just wanna make sure that we are taking this and blending it so you cannot tell where the concealer starts and stops, okay? And I'm just taking my um, dense brush here. It helps to pack on color a lot better. And if you can't tell from this video, I'm actually kind of doing like a U shape. Okay, I don't want a straight line. That's not going to look as flawless. I'm kind of taking this and going in higher up here coming out and then going back in closer to my inner corner down here. So I'm kind of following like a U shape to help blend it easier. So this is my dark, dark green. Okay, do you guys see how I did that? Super simple, super easy. It may not seem like it at first, but just try it. Seriously, you will get the hang of it. It's not as hard as you may think. Hi, Emily, if you love Starbucks, you can share this video to be entered in the giveaway. Or like I've been telling everybody else, if you know somebody who loves Starbucks and you wanna to try to win it for them or tag them in this so that they can enter to win, feel free. I'm taking our gorgeous Amazon green shadow and blending this back into the dark, dark green. It's gonna kind of give us a better transition. Do you see how I'm doing that? All right, now I've never used this green pigment, so we are gonna go for it. Um, so you can do this multiple ways. You can either put it on the back of your hand, cause it's almost like a little salt shaker. 
can like sprinkle it out. Or what I like to do is take this all the way off. Be gentle because I broke one the other day because I ripped it off too hard and wasn't patient with it. <laughs> Story of my life, okay? And then it's just like a big open container. Let me clean this brush because this is a good one. It's a really skinny flat brush that I... Yay, Emily! Thank you for sharing. Thank you, thank you. Guys, if you want, tell me what drink you would buy with this gift card if you want. I want to know. I don't know why I didn't think of this at the beginning. But I want to know if you're watching this on the replay. Um, or if you're still on here with me towards the end of this video. Um, what is your favorite Starbucks drink? What drink do you want to buy with your gift card? I have so many. I don't even know. I love the caramel macchiatos. I love their white chocolate. Um... Why did I just lose my train of thought? I love their white chocolate mochas. Ugh, I don't know. I love them all. Okay, so this flat brush is clean. Now we're going to take some pigment. And because this is a dry brush, it's going to be super easy to blend on here. Honestly, this kind of looks cool. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This kind of looks cool all by itself. But we're going to take this bright green. Well, it's not bright green. It's just a shimmery green. Look at how much pigment that has. We may need to throw some black in here in the corners. I'm just saying. We may actually need to make this deeper in the creases than what I thought. Is this not gorgeous, you guys? Look how beautiful and shimmery this is. So gorgeous. Look at all that shimmer. Oh my God. I love green. I love green. We are just going to blend this back. Yeah, we may need to throw some black in here just to make this super, super dark. What do you guys think? We, I just need to add some more depth to this, I think. That is how I'm feeling about it. Look at how gorgeous this pigment is. These are so easy to apply. Look at it. Mm. I love green. Green is awesome. Okay, let's see what black I want to use, though. Hi, Caitlin. How's it going? Okay, we'll just use the black in this palette. We have a black. Pharmacy has a black eyeshadow. I just don't have it yet. I've ordered it, and it needs to come. It needs to hurry up and get here. So let's just take some of this black, okay? Just to add some more depth and darkness to this because this green is a lot darker and a lot more bold than I expected it to be. I was expecting it to be a little bit lighter than that, to be honest. And it is like fierce. Look at it. So obviously this may not be your everyday, <laughs> everyday eyeshadow look, but is this not gorgeous? If this is your everyday eyeshadow look, that's freaking awesome because this is super bold. So I'm just blending this into the green a little bit. Look how, mm, look how super bold this is. And then it looks crazy over here. We're going to clean it up so it's going to look a lot sharper. It's going to be so gorgeous. <sighs> I love green. It is my favorite. We're going to throw some black in here. Honestly, you guys, though, I'm kind of digging this this look over here. Like, it's almost more natural. You could put, like, a really pretty light, like, this color on your lid over here, and that would look gorgeous, too. There's, like, so many options with these greens. And you can just throw it on your lid and blend it in like I did. Oh, I don't know. There's so many choices. So many choices with these green pigments and eyeshadows. Okay, we're just going to take somewhere and try to make my other eye match. And then we're going to go in and clean. Are you selling makeup? Yes, I am, Caitlin. I sell Pharmacy Cosmetics. The brand is fantastic. If you have questions about it, send me a message. I have like a gazillion and one reasons why I love this makeup company so, so much. So if you want more details on it, um, that way I don't keep babbling on on here about why it's so great, you can send me a message. But... Prices are amazing. I linked, uh, or I put my link in the description if you want to go check it out so you can see these amazing prices. Um, that kind of gives you a big reason why I love this company so much. Such a great 
a great company to work for. I sell this green that I'm putting on right now. Um, this beautiful, beautiful green eyeshadow that I've used before. You can find it in my um, photos on my Facebook. And the foundation and everything I'm wearing. We have so many different products. Okay, now what did I do with that little brush? Here it is. I'm going to take this black and just darken this up a little bit more. We're still trying to stay true to that almost V shape coming out here and then coming back up into the crease. And I'm blending the black into the green. Okay, we just want to keep this deep, dark, bold. You could throw a wing liner in with this. Y'all know I'm not that brave yet. Okay. And what I'm going to do to kind of try to make sure that it's not harsh lines. I'll def message you because this looks beautiful. Yes, Caitlin, send me a message. Absolutely. I would love to talk to you about this stuff. Um, I'm wearing our VFX, but I've been telling people, like, I think our statement is, like, my absolute favorite foundation because it is so stinking affordable. Um... But yeah, just message me and I can talk to you about all that stuff. Where is, here we go. I'm taking the darkest shade of my sculpting palette just so I can come out here and blend this black. I just don't want it to be too harsh. It's already blended really, really well. But since I've added the extra black in there, we can make it look more seamless even. So it's honestly just about patience, guys. If you're gonna do something like this, it's just about patience. And honestly, there may be like some freaking awesome makeup artists out there that can do looks like this super fast. And I can't, cause I'm not a professional, okay? <laughs> I gotta take things slow. I gotta do it at my own pace because these things are new to me. I'm not like, I'm not a professional by any means, any stretch of the imagination. I just love makeup and love trying new things. I usually don't branch out. If you guys know me that well, I usually do not branch out of my comfort zone like this, but these looks are so, so fun to do. So I'm going to do these a lot more. And my team is so freaking awesome. They've encouraged me so much. My upline, Mandy, has been so stinking encouraging and supportive and then even her upline like they're all just freaking wonderful they have pushed me outside of my comfort zone and we're doing live challenges this week which gives me so many great opportunities to show you guys different looks that I might not have shown you before so it's just all around such a supportive team and I'm so proud to be a part of it I honestly can't lie to you. I don't know if I could have said that previously. <laughs> previously. Not trying to hate on anybody, but I don't know if in the recent past if I could have said that before I joined this team. Okay, I'm going to take that flat brush I used with the pigment, and I'm just taking some of that Amazon green, which is our regular eyeshadow. It's not the pigment, and I'm just going to press this where the pigment ends and the black starts just to kind of give it a shimmery... Um, more of a shimmery green transition to the black. Okay, do you guys see how I did that? So, so easy. You could go in, you could do a winged liner. I'm not, I don't know if I will do it. I don't know that I will be that bold today. I don't know. Maybe I will have to get off here. You might find me trying to do, trying to do some eyeliner after I get off here, but not in front of you guys because I don't want to confuse anybody or mess it up and make it a big thing. Okay, so... For now, we're just gonna get some black eyeliner, just like a pencil eyeliner that we have that is waterproof. And I'm gonna put it on my top waterline. Okay, just to kind of keep that dark look. And I'll put it on my bottom waterline too, but first I'm gonna cut this eyeshadow look and we're gonna clean it up under here okay so I don't really have much powder left under my eye but whatever I do I'm just gonna brush away and I'm gonna take my wonderful liquid concealer this stuff is freaking awesome it has a cute little applicator that is super helpful to me 
and making these lines. So really, I don't need to do, you know, I almost need to bring this out more because I don't like my lines to be way up. I like it to be seamless going from under here to straight up to my brow. So I almost need to take more of this black and blend it out here. There we go. You just need to bring that down a little bit so that I can have a seamless line from under my eye up to my brow bone. I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. Okay, so I just brought that down a little bit more. Hopefully that is exactly what I needed. We are going to, Mandy's here, hey. We are gonna take this And just draw a straight line up. Okay, I try to keep that as straight as possible, but that's just gonna give me basically a straight cut line. Okay, and I try to keep it at the same angle. Sometimes it's not going to be perfect, but it's okay. Green is your color. Thank you, Mandy. I love it. I used the Amazon green and I used our green pigment and they're both so gorgeous. Coffee break. Okay. Now I take my concealer brush and I'm just trying to blend this down and out as much as I can so it's not as clear straight of a um, defined line where the concealer starts and stops. So we're just gonna start blending this out and down. I'm gonna do this on the other eye. You're at work, oh my gosh, that's no fun, Mandy. That is not fun. Are you glad to be back at work though or are you sad? Would you rather be working from home? Cause I'm pretty sure I would. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would. Okay, I'm gonna take my beauty sponge. Yes, Manny, you need the green pigment. It is freaking gorgeous, clearly. Look at it, it's so bold. Oh, I went a little crazy, hold on. You can clean that up, try to stay away from the eyeshadow. So you're gonna press this in just enough to blend it out, but you're not gonna try to go on top of the eyeshadow, okay? Because we want this to be clean. We want this to be sharp, okay? So just keep pressing in with your sponge. And I just dug my fingernail into that eyeshadow. It is not good because I have white fingernail tips. Okay, and we're just gonna keep pressing this in. If you feel like you can't get it to blend out good enough, you can always take some of your pressed colored press powder if you have it and put it on top or some bronzer right here so it's not so obvious of a line up this way. I like the structure of being back in the office. I don't blame you. It's probably like a lot easier. You probably have all the tools and things you need and it's like more motivating I'm sure to like get out of bed and like start your day in the morning isn't it? I'm sure that's how I would feel about it. I get so lazy on my days off, especially when I have multiple days off in a row like I did this weekend that I wasn't expecting. Okay, guys, we are going to take, we're going to take some of the black, okay, with this tiny little pencil I have and blend it down. So do you see how this like goes seamlessly up to my top lid? Like, yes, I'd love to be home, but it's nice to be back to normal. That makes sense. I'm glad the world is starting to get back to normal, honestly. Although my job hasn't really changed, obviously. But I'm glad on my days off to kind of be able to go a little bit back to normal. So I'm just blending this black down. And then I'm going to wipe this off a little bit. I'm going to take this same brush and I'm going to grab our Amazon green shadow and go the rest away the rest of the way under my eye if I could talk that'd be awesome okay so just to give it a little bit of a green and a shimmer under here this is like super super bold obviously 
So this is like an awesome nighttime look. If you love greens, this is for you. The pigment is gorgeous. If you're bolder than me and you have some different ideas for the pigment, like some people, like I said, put it on their lips, use it as highlight, go for it. Because that would be freaking awesome. I'm just not that creative. I haven't went that far out of my comfort zone yet. <laughs> so I haven't done that. But okay, do you guys see how I clean that up so easily though? Um, and you can kind of see the line up here because I don't think I blended it out in time. But easily fixable because literally all you have to do to kind of make it blend with the rest of your face is just take a little bit of bronzer and throw some color back in here so it's not so like light bold concealer do you, do you see how I fix that so that is so easy and blush will help too blush is going to throw some more color back into our face so let's throw some pretty blush on and I keep telling you guys that I am obsessed with sweet almond blush. It is so pretty. I don't know what it is. Let me find it. <laughs> Let me find it first and then we can use it. Oh, here it is, I already got it out. Yeah, I keep telling you guys that I love it because I am not like usually a blush person. And it's like just a super subtle, natural looking color. It's not like super bright pink. Um, it's just this very gentle look at it. It's so gorgeous. It's like, I don't know, Sweet Almond is like the perfect name for it. It's like such a natural, gorgeous shade. Okay, do you see how much color that just threw on my face right there? But it's not like super bright, super pink in your face. I want everything to be natural. I have a really bold eye, obviously. <laughs> so I want everything to be really natural um, and not take attention away from, from this up here. And then one more thing I'm going to do is just take some more of that brown pigment or sculpting powder. Why did I say pigment? And just blend this out up here. You do not want harsh lines. So blending is your friend, okay? You guys want to take a fluffy brush with a light shade and you want to blend, blend, blend. And you're not going to have those harsh lines of color. Look how stinking bright this is. It looks a little odd now, maybe. You might think, oh my gosh, that looks a little strange because I don't have any mascara on. It looks like I have no lashes, but I'm gonna get some highlighter and I'm gonna show you guys our awesome mascaras. So we are gonna take this highlighter because it has a yellow undertone. I don't wanna do anything like this. This is like a warmer gold. This is like a pink lavender. I want something that's gonna go with the green which is why I'm gonna pick this yellow and I'm gonna throw it in the corner of my eye. And I honestly probably could have grabbed a smaller brush for that, but we'll just stick with it. You could throw some under your brow bone. Let me get a fluffy brush and I will show you. Throw some here to emphasize your brow bone to highlight, it's kind of like wherever the sun would touch first, you're gonna highlight, okay? And then I'm gonna get my big fluffy brush I have here and highlight the tops of my cheekbone, okay? Because we want to give some shimmer. We want to accentuate these cheekbones. That's what the point of contouring is. That's what the point of highlighting is, okay? You want to accentuate certain features of your face. Hi, Kathy, happy Tuesday. If you're hopping on, say hey, if you love Starbucks or coffee or you've never tried Starbucks or you know somebody that loves Starbucks, share this video. You can be entered into my giveaway. Make sure when you share it's public. I will be doing it probably through Friday. I think that's what I've decided because I work the next two days, and so I think I'll give you guys a couple days. I put way too much on just then. I think I'll give you guys a couple days to share and enter to win, but it has to be shared publicly or I can't see that you've shared. Um, and make sure you come back here and comment that you shared, okay? That's super important because otherwise I may not notice that you shared. So make sure that you do all of those things. All right. Now I'm gonna show you guys, oh, let me put my black 
eyeliner on the bottom first because I want to keep this deep and dark. Just like that, you see how that darkened up my eyes even more. I made this super bold. So we could throw some eyeliner on, but I'm not mm, not about that. I'm gonna show you guys. Thank you, Mandy. It says nurse, I'll be there for you. My sister got it for me because we both love friends and she's so sweet. She got it for me as a gift um, when I graduated nursing school. She is the bomb. It's like the perfect shirt for me. I love Friends. I was so sad when Netflix got rid of the show. I was like, what is wrong with you? It is one of the greatest. I actually got John into watching it too, shockingly enough. I was surprised that he would even watch that, but he loves it too. It's like a classic. So it's like the perfect shirt for me. Friends is life. Friends is life, Mandy. I've always watched it. My mom was big on it. Or she still is. She still loves it. This is our 3D mascara. Did I say that? This is like one of my favorites. I don't know. This one is awesome. The Zen is great. It is the most affordable one we have. But then also... Um, the extreme curl I don't know I can't pick those are my three phase but I haven't tried any of the other ones yet okay oh I did try hold on I will tell you guys which one is like not my favorite I did try optimal style I've tried this one not a fan I wouldn't necessarily recommend that one I mean everybody's got different preferences on a mascara but if I'm being honest with you guys, I would stick with this one, 3D Effect, or Zen does a gorgeous job, and it's the most affordable. Hey, JD. Okay. They totally suck for taking away. I know. Honestly, Mandy, I would love to just stop watching Netflix to, like, show how upset I am for getting rid of friends, but I don't think it would make a difference. To them, not to mention they still have some of my favorite shows on there. So I can't, I gotta say that Netflix is my fave. Do you guys see these lashes? Look how gorgeous, look how gorgeous that is. Okay, and you could totally do like a winged liner, but I'm like not confident in myself enough. So we will get there. <laughs> we will get there, but it's been like way too long since I've done winged liner. So you love optimal Mandy okay see everybody's different Mandy thinks it's great I'm not a fan it must be personal preference but look at this 3d mascara do you see how much my lashes stand out it is gorgeous so now I really love all the mascaras I haven't tried all of them I've only tried the four 3d zen optimal and extreme curl but those first three that I said I love are insane. I need to try Star Look. I haven't tried that. I can't remember what the other ones are, Mandy. I'm having like, I can't remember. I'm having like a brain fart or something. Okay, let's do some pretty, pretty lip and let's keep it, let's do Brave because yeah, I don't know if you guys are gonna get me to change it up much from that. I'm just being honest. Brave is amazing. Although, did I leave it in my purse yesterday? All right, I lied. We may be changing it up from Brave because I don't feel like walking over to my purse to grab it. We may be trying something else. Hold on. If I can get you guys to vote, you can pick. We could try something like this. Though I don't know if I want to do that because it's almost more red. But that's perfect rose. It's freaking gorgeous. These are our matte liquid lips which one is this oh this one's beautiful this is on natural right here gorgeous man i'm doing that one i didn't get that result oh shoot with the 3d so neat how we have so many options a deep oh deep black i need to try that one that was the one i wanted to try next i try the new guava drink sounds so yummy i've never heard of that emily that does sound good i may need to try that next time i go yeah i mean i need to try the deep black because i haven't tried that you didn't get this effect with 3d 
this stuff is awesome. I love this mascara. See, that's why I say it's personal preference. Everybody's different. Okay, and then we also have, meh, no, I don't want that one. Where'd it go? We also have mauve pink, but I used that one yesterday. So we may like change it up. I don't know. I'll wait a little bit longer to see if you guys want to vote, but obviously this is mauve pink. It's more pink than, or it's more of like a darker pink than the natural color. I have wild rose. Wild rose is beautiful too, but it's like darker. You see how dark that is? I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Hmm. Perfect rose, wild rose, all natural. And then that one, what I said, that's mauve pink. What do you guys think? I need somebody to pick. Pick for me, because I can't decide. I'll say it again. Wild rose, perfect rose. This one on the outside is mauve pink. The one in the middle is all natural. Which one? Help me decide. I can't decide. What one would look really pretty with the green? I don't know. I don't know. I just need, oh, thank you, Mandy. Mandy picked. Okay, let's try that one. First top. What is this one? Oh, this one? Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, I need a tie. Okay. I need somebody to pick between these two because now Mandy and Cody have me, like, trying to decide. The natural one? Okay, then we'll go with that one. But Cody, if you wanna see the mauve pink, I used it yesterday. So you can see, go back and look at my video from yesterday. That will tell you what it looks like. Where is my favorite lip liner? Oh, here it is. Okay, this is my favorite lip liner. 203, it's gorgeous. It's been neglected. I need to sharpen it real quick. The wonderful, wonderful thing about these matte liquid lips are the fact that they will freaking last. All stinking day. I mean, by the end of the night, it starts to really come off because I've ate and drank a lot, but it lasts a long time. I've tried plenty of other matte liquid lips and they do not stay on as long as this stuff does. And honestly, I could take this gorgeous lip liner and just use this if I wanted to. I need to do that too for you guys one day. If you guys have not been on my website and seen how stinking affordable all this stuff is you need to go look because you'll understand my eternal love for this company because of that we've had a lot of delayed shipping from the pandemic and it's taken my makeup a lot longer to get here than it normally would my dogs are out there barking at somebody <laughs> do you see how pretty this is by itself but anyway, it's taken shipping a little while longer because of the pandemic, but the products are so affordable, I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care how long it takes. It's like Morphe. Morphe takes forever to send stuff out now. It's like 20 days. Mine took more than 20 days. It said an average of 20 days. Mine took more than that. But the price is so worth it. You're just kind of like, okay. I don't know who my dogs are barking at. Okay, let's just hurry up and get off here so you don't have to listen to that all day. This is all natural. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. This one, mauve pink and bright were my favorites. They are super neutral, natural looking. And look good on a lot of different skin tones with a lot of different eyeshadow looks. Okay, do you see how pretty this is? Okay, let me just see how long I've been on here. Oh my God, I've been on here way too long. Okay, <laughs> you guys, you guys, I gotta get off here. I've been on here way, way too long. Do you see how pretty this is? 
beautiful. Look at it. It's so gorgeous. And it's wet, so it looks shimmery right shimmery. It looks shiny right now, but it will not stay that way. It's gonna dry. It's gonna be totally matte. I'm not gonna have transfer. It's gonna take a lot of drinking for my lips to get wet for it to start to come off. This is super, super important, you guys. Do not forget setting spray, okay? This stuff is gold. I have so many people come to me and they're like, I love my setting spray. And it's like, they'll give me some like name brand really expensive stuff and I'm like, I've tried that and that doesn't work near as good as this stuff. This is the first setting spray, honestly, that I actually believe in, okay? Because my makeup goes to show it. I need to remember tonight to get on here and show you guys or at least post a picture or something and show you guys what my makeup looks like by the end of the day because it will stay and I do not have to touch it up and I can be outside and sweat and I don't have to touch my makeup. So we're just gonna spray this. You don't need near that many sprays, but I'm dramatic over the top, overboard on everything all the time. So this will look shiny. You can fan it or you can just let it air dry. It doesn't matter. I see so many girls on my team with their cute little fans and they like fan their faces dry and it's like so cute. I'm like, I need a cute little fan to fan my face. Um, but this will dry totally matte. So it's not gonna leave your face looking dewy, shiny, none of that stuff. I don't like dewy at all. That's not my favorite thing. I have oily skin. So I love for my skin to look matte and not shiny because I don't want people to think that my skin is having issues today. So, but this is it, you guys. Don't you think this is gorgeous? We totally, totally could have left like more of like a neutral, like that light nude color on my eye and just done like this pretty shimmery on the crease. Like there's so many different things you could have done. I just wanted this to be really bold, dark, deep green look for you guys. So you could like clearly see how beautiful the pigment is do you see how gorgeous how gorgeous that is and I usually if I do a bold bold look like this I want to do like a natural pretty subtle lip because I want people to focus on my eyes okay thank you Mandy you're so sweet Mandy's my upline she is the best I have to say no matter what happened like in the past several months doing what I was doing even if it was almost seemed like it was for nothing, I got Mandy out of it. So I am very thankful. Very, very thankful that I met her through everything else I had going on. Okay, so I will get off here and I can let you guys go now. You can be done listening to my hour and a half rant. I'm so sorry this video was that long. If you're watching the replay, just go back and skip through. <laughs> Don't sit there and watch me for an hour and a half because nobody's got time for that. So I apologize, but I'm going to start doing more shorter videos for you guys. Shorter, easier looks. Um, so you don't have to sit here and listen to me for an hour and a half. Oh, Mandy, you're so sweet. Yes. I'm so grateful for you. I'm so glad that we met each other through that last company. Like I'm blessed for that. Okay. I'll let you guys go. I'm just going to clean up my mess and go on the rest of my day. And I'll take some photos and I'll post it for you guys. If you have questions about the products, let me know. If you wanna share any one one Starbucks gift card, share this video. And then let me know that you did so that I can enter you to win. You've got like two days to do it. So feel free to share, 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 okay? Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for sticking it out. There's some of you that have been watching me for so long and I appreciate it. Um, and I hope you guys have a really good Tuesday. Okay, so take care. Have a good evening. And hopefully, I may be going live tomorrow. I should have told you guys that. Hopefully, I'll be going live in the morning before work. So I'm like, I'll show you my work face real quick. It's not, not like this, okay? I'm gonna be looking hot mess. But I better just tell you guys I'm going to be on tomorrow morning now so that I can stay committed to doing that. Because that was my plan. But I like to sleep in. So we're just going to hope it works out. I am determined to get up in enough time to show you guys my work face. And then go to work tomorrow. Okay. So you guys take care. Have a good Tuesday. And I will be seeing you in the morning. Hopefully.